So we went to St. Louis for my friend Kyle's wedding. He is one of my best friends since elementary school, so it was really important for me to come out and show support to this monumental event in his life. So off to St. Louis we went. Now St. Louis is really famous for baseball. Um, they have a really good baseball team, a beautiful stadium, and then they also um, have the famous arch as well. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And they also um, have a Budweiser uh, factory there. So you can take a tour and they actually brew a couple different um, types of, of beer too. So um, it's, it's a really cool city. Um, it's got a lot of history and it's very popular, especially if you're in the Midwest, because it's, you know, it's a short drive from, from most other major cities. Um, here's a view of what downtown looks like as we were walking and driving through downtown. So it was really nice. I liked the buildings. I liked how, you know, uh, it's a pretty clean city. Um, it had just rained, right? But as you can see, like, there's uh, not a lot of trash or smoke or like anything that you can't really not enjoy walking outside for, right? So um, it was really nice. It was also a beautiful day, which helped. So. We made it to the arch where that park is. Um, it's really nice. Uh, we took some pictures. It's a huge park, so um, it was nice. Like you could see that the arch extended over, you know, all the trees. So it was really nice. Took some pictures, and I didn't know this until a couple days before we got there. But you could actually pay. Um, to take a lift that'll take you to the top of the arch and there's a viewing room up there So I was curious um, Me and my friends decided to buy tickets and we went up there This is what it looks like when you're entering um, It looks like you're almost at like a, a secret underground station or something, but yeah, they um, They take you through a tour Basically giving you a history of what the arch is why it's here um, you know, what kind of it took to build it, um, the whole process. It was, it was really nice just learning about it and seeing why this is there, right? So uh, my brother had previously come to St. Louis and he did recommend um, just listening to this because like it's, it's a cool piece about history, right? Um, so that way, if you ever meet someone from St. Louis, at least you know a little bit about the, <laughs> the uh, city. So, um, this is what it looks like when you're actually getting onto the lift. It is incredible how tight that space is. It looks like, you know, like some, some sort of, um, I don't know, spaceship from Star Wars, like some tiny little fighter vessel, but, uh, it actually fits four people quite comfortably. If you have a, uh, you know, maybe one or two kids with you also, I think it, it could fit. It's going to be tight, but either way, it's it's no more than a five minute ride to the top. Um, and it feels like you're on a merry-go-round. Um, or no, I'm sorry, a carousel. Yeah, yeah, yeah carousel, not merry-go-round. Um, yeah, then you get super dizzy. <laughs> but no, it feels like you're on a carousel. Um, it's a slow ride to the top. It's very smooth. There's not a view on the way up, unfortunately. The only view is of stairs. So they give you a small little window where you can see the stairs. Um, but once you get to the top, it's not what you would expect if you've ever been to like any other, you know, um, famous view rooms, right? Like I know Chicago has a really nice one. New York, right? Empire State Building, The Edge, those types of, of uh, viewing experiences. Usually they have these tall glass windows um, and you can kind of see everything. But once you get to the top of the arch, because of the way it's built, they put in these little windows throughout the whole top of the arch. So you do have to get real close to be able to see. It's not very picture friendly. Like as you can see, we had to like get at an angle and zoom in in order to get the, the scenery in the background. But you know, it was still a beautiful view from up there. Like we got to see how nice the baseball stadium was because um, we unfortunately didn't link up our schedule to be able to watch a game. But, um, you know, we also saw a lot of the city from a whole different perspective and it, it looked really nice from above. Um, up there, I'm not gonna lie, I obviously got nervous just seeing like 
you know, from the outside, what the arch looks like, and then knowing I'm standing at the top, but, you know, the structure's been there for so long, like, no safety issues what whatsoever, um, and there were so many people up there, so if you're claustrophobic, you might have a rough time, because we were up there, I think you have to be up there for, like, I think it's, like, 10 minutes, and then the next round of people come up to uh, let you get back on to go down, so that was the only thing, but... Um, I, I thought it was nice, right? Nice, nice view. So anyway, uh, after that, what we did was we went around the city some more, took some cool pictures from the outside as well, some more um, views of the park. And then we actually uh, went to Kyle's wedding. So it was at this beautiful park. Uh, just took a little bit of pictures of the scenery. Um, it was a small micro wedding. So, uh, everyone's squinting. I actually wore my sunglasses, so, uh, 10 steps ahead, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, something really cool about St. Louis too, that we ended up doing, uh, right after the wedding to go celebrate, we went to this incredible steakhouse and this steakhouse was so good. They had something called an olive fed Wagyu that, um, our friends got and it was you know absolutely delicious um you know i just had a regular filet but that was also super good so i'll find the name of the restaurant and i'll put it in the description if anyone wants to know but um something really cool about st louis as well is that because of the state paid taxes the city zoo is free entry right so um part of those taxes help maintain the zoo which is a really cool experience for like kids you know especially to, to be around nature and animals but also for tourists so we got to go to the zoo um it was a really cool experience i mean I, zoos are always uh, a good experience in any city just because it, it lets you interact with the animals right like a lot of these animals have been bred there since they were young so this this is all they know so maybe they act a little bit differently than they would in the wild um but it's just, it's a nice reminder, um, you know, that, that there's other species on the planet, so we got to take care of them as well, right? And, and it's good to just get up close and interact with nature whenever you can. But um, that was really fun. And we actually went to the planetarium too afterwards. But that one, I mean, it's hard to take a picture once you're in there gazing at the stars. So I didn't get any views of that. Plus, don't want to spoil the experience for you. So make sure if you go, you check out the zoo and the planetarium. Really fun experiences. Uh, besides that, St. Louis was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, most of what we did was just hang out, um, celebrate their engagement, and then did a little bit of touristy activities. Um, and I would recommend to anyone going to St. Louis, you know, take advantage of the tours, take advantage of the warm weather, maybe catch a baseball game if you're a fan. And then, of course, as always, just try to travel as much as you can and have, have some fun. All right, thanks for watching.